Now, ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer over at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago just two months ago, it left a lot of fans very eager and excited for the next set of footage in the form of another trailer by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and more. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So, what's really great about the next trailer for Episode 9 is that we do know that it's going to be a thing that debuts at San Diego Comic Con, which is all set and ready to happen this July, and they're aiming for a July 19th release of the next trailer of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and it all comes down to some of the plans and some of the shot descriptions of the upcoming trailer 2 of this movie. This is where things begin to get very exciting. Now, specifically, it's described that the upcoming trailer for the film that is set to debut over at San Diego Comic-Con will include many callbacks and Easter eggs to Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, as well as a first glimpse at one of the Anakin Skywalker relics that will be used by Kylo Ren in the movie. Additionally, it's described that Disney and Lucasfilm will be using footage of Revenge of the Sith in the upcoming trailer, since the new look at the film will be a mix between a BTS and a regular trailer to explain some of the characters and their roles. The use of the Episode 3 footage is set to match up with footage of Kylo Ren in the movie and his relation to Anakin Skywalker, and that there will be around a dozen Episode 3 Easter eggs to discover and decipher in the new trailer. It's also said that the new trailer is going to explain the story of the Death Star wreckage and its role in the film and that more footage of the wreckage will be present in the shots, one of which involves a shot of Rey roping down into the darkness of the wreckage, which is said to parallel Rey going into the belly of the Star Destroyer in The Force Awakens. Another sequence involves a first look of Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren fighting against Rey on a battlefield, where Kylo is said to be in the background wielding his lightsaber. Lastly, it's described that the upcoming trailer will also include another big tease of Emperor Palpatine midway through, that is said to be a whole entire line of dialogue by Ian McDermott himself. So, the one thing that I really want to go over here is how there's going to be a lot of footage of episode 3 and easter eggs as well related to episode 3. In case you guys did not know this upcoming trailer, it's going to be a mixture of a BTS and a regular trailer. Something that Disney and Lucasfilm have never done before for a Star Wars movie, so it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how that's going to roll out and how it's all going to play out over at San Diego Comic Con. Now, the other piece that I do want to go over is that the Revenge of the Sith footage, the primary use and the reason as to why they are using this, is to show the parallels between both Anakin and Kylo Ren, and where Kylo is going in this story. So the fact that there are going to be around a dozen Easter eggs related to Episode 3 in the upcoming trailer, that will be used in a way for fans to decipher them, and as well to discover them in the footage, because a lot of them will be hidden, I think that this is going to make the trailer fun and more interactive, where it's going to have a lot of replay value, right? Mind you, in my opinion, the first teaser was great. I thought it pretty much was a great teaser trailer for what it was, especially the great payoff at the very end with Palpatine's laugh. But that leads us to the more exciting piece of all of this, is that Ian McDermott is said to have a whole entire line of dialogue in the upcoming trailer for The Rise of Skywalker at San Diego Comic-Con. Similar to how Supreme Leader Snoke had a whole line of dialogue in the full trailer for The Last Jedi almost two years ago. So that's the thing here is that we do know that this movie really is going to ramp up the marketing in July and they need to. It does make a lot of sense as to why they're doing this. You know, the Lion King really is going to be their last focus before the rise of Skywalker and of course Spider-Man Far From Home. And I think that the fact that they are using this movie as a way in order to really give us a lot of those parallels in the upcoming trailer and really including some footage of Revenge of the Sith in the form of a BTS slash regular trailer, it's going to be a very interesting type of style that we have never seen before by Disney and Lucasfilm. So the other piece that I do want to go over is how a great portion of the Death Star wreckage is going to be explained and showcased in the new trailer. So in the teaser, we only got a little glimpse of the Death Star wreckage in, of course, the Episode 9 trailer. And now with the new one, they're going to show additional glimpses of this, one of which being Rey actually going down a rope into the body of the Death Star wreckage. 
you know, hence giving us a nice little parallel of what Rey did at the very beginning of The Force Awakens into the Star Destroyer. So, you can see that J.J. Abrams is creating parallels within the sequel trilogy itself already. Which may or may not break some rules, I guess, because usually the parallels are more related to past trilogies, but I digress. Nonetheless, guys, we are getting closer, alright, because they are aiming for a July 19th release. We are almost exactly one month away until we get to see additional footage of this movie that'll give us a better idea of the tone of the final installment of the sequel trilogy. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.